rest Westbrook and Paul George gave. I mean, they gave Oklahoma City two years to flounder around and get bounced out of the playoffs in the first round both times. Not that they don't play any part in it, but the team wasn't doing anything to add anybody else because sure. we really couldn't in a lot of ways, obviously, because we were paying those two guys plus uh, Steven Adams a, just a fucking we tied our money titanic up. load of money. So if they were expecting, you know, maybe they were just going to see like, hey, is this is will this big three work? Well, it didn't. Yeah, they gave yeah, it two years, yeah. and then they both went different places. So fair enough. I mean, and we talked about on the last episode you and me did, where it was like, "Hey, was Paul George really?" I mean, <laughs> we're gonna get into the media here in a minute, but like, you know, it sold that he just stayed because he loved here, loved yeah, it, it like, loved it so much here. Yeah, you know? Russell but then, like, the second, sold him on it. And... The second he was available to team up with somebody, yeah, he left. He asked for a trade. Yeah. Huh. But I read a whole article about how he loves it here. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, who knows? I mean, I, and I, mean, I know that's a, some opportunistic type of stuff that's being written at that time. Going, hey, he loves Oklahoma. And hey, you know what? We're confirming it. It might have all been true. And guess what? Two years later, it changed his fucking changed. mind. Yeah. yeah, shit changes, man. Yeah, he can be uh, like, you know what? I thought that yesterday. Today, things have changed. He might have Fuck spent this. a few years here and been like, or I want to change. Or whatever. Why am I here, dude? I could be in L.A. right now. Yeah, that's why he was front. That's why he was, you know, he was wanting to go there in the first place. You know, I know. And so maybe he just said, "Yeah, I don't want to." Waiting for the right time. So that's fine. I mean, like I said, I don't. We've got it. We got a king's ransom of draft picks. We'll see what those equate to. Ten years. Yeah, (laughs) in some some years, and we'll see what happens. I mean, I just think we need to learn our lesson. Is I mean, if we haven't learned a lesson by now, is the fact that. Free agents aren't going to be like, hey, I just want to come to Oklahoma City, especially yeah. just because I like it. Yeah, we're one of those we're one of those markets where we have to draft the people and hopefully hold on to them as long as we can. 